Yaho YouTube, I am Super Yankee, and in today's thought of the day, we're going to talk about mistake momentum. Before we get into today's thought of the day, why don't you smash that like button, let me know I'm doing a good job and I should continue making these videos, I'm going to continue making them anyway, but let's get into the video. So yesterday, I had a really interesting morning, I had a good morning, I woke up at like 5 a.m. in the morning, I did my stream, I felt really good about myself, I got a haircut as you can see and I was hanging out with my friends for a couple hours, but I got home and I suddenly lost all of the energy that I had to get back to work. One of the main reasons that I did this, and I didn't figure this out until today, was because home for me is associated as a rest environment, not an environment for creativity. So what I ended up doing was I, got, I went shopping, I went shopping, I bought my food, but I bought all these snacks, right? And whenever I buy snacks at the supermarket, I tend to eat them immediately when I get home. So I got home, I binge ate all my snacks, I felt really bad, I went to sleep, slept for like three hours, woke up at like 10 p.m., had no energy to do anything, and it was just a bad day. And that bad day continued to a bad morning this morning. And that doesn't mean that I didn't wake up on time, it just means that I didn't get up because I believed that I made the mistakes the day before, and I didn't want to actually like try to correct them. Now, I was streaming on Twitch today, and it's, it's a big key about being mindful, right? Being mindful and trying to really think about how to be mindful every day. Because yes, we're going to make mistakes, but no, we don't have to accept the mistakes as a, part of, as a part of our identity. And when coming at this big question of identity, we tend to know what we should do. But the mental conditioning, the mental conditioning that we put ourselves into to our previous identity prevents us from actually making progress into forming a new identity. And you take it as a part of a positive identity, you can take it a part of the negative identity. Well, not really, a negative identity is really easy to form, but specifically for a positive identity, for trying to become our best self, you know? If you want to do this, we usually condition ourselves to make mistakes and to be okay with them. The conditioning makes us believe that the mistakes are okay. And that's not productive for forming a new identity because in order to form a new identity, you need to change your belief system. And in order to change your belief system, you need to change your habits. Because habits build beliefs and beliefs build identity. It's not like you don't start with the identity and then build the beliefs and then build the habits. The habits are where everything starts. So. My challenge to you guys today is the next time you make a mistake that doesn't conform to the identity you want to make, you have to be like, you have to say it out loud, you have to be critical about it, you have to be critical about the mistakes you make. Because if you're not critical about the mistakes you make, if you just let them happen and you're like, oh, you know, it's part of the journey, then you're going to be conforming to the old identity that you had and hindering yourself from moving forward and creating this new identity. I'm really Genki right now, I'm running on those Genki fumes, we're on our way to play piano. I'm holding this camera with one arm as I hold my bike with the other one. This arm's getting tired, but you know what? We gotta go to the gym. Ooh, we gotta go to the gym, guys. I've been having a bad time. Not a bad time, no. I'm learning how to become better at the gym. That was something, a work of linguistics that we did today on Twitch. No longer am I gonna say I'm bad at something. I'm just gonna say I'm learning. Because learning is more neutral, bad is negative. And you don't want to associate yourself with negative words, negative forms of expression. Anyway, YouTube. That's the video for today. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave a comment because I love responding to your comments with Genki energy and positivity. Share this video with your friends. And you know what? I don't know, I keep watching because we're going to keep getting better and this is the journey to success. Thank you, everyone. I'll see you in the next one. I had to do this right. Bye-bye.